J and if you are a returning subscriber hello how are you so today we're finally gonna do our kitchen tour I'm so excited that you guys are here I am drinking my sparkling water I'm not a huge drinker but we are still celebrating that you guys are all here with me today I'm really excited for this video so yeah let's get started so we moved into this house October I think 15th we closed of last year so 2019 and this is a new build so I want to be as informative as possible just in case you're curious about how it works with the new build or you're interested in going through that process. So when we first moved in, all of the hardware was, it was a brush nickel, right? My husband Damon's on the ones and twos today though. He's on the, he's the cameraman today, but every, uh, all the hardware was brush nickel, but they were all knobs. And then the floors were a square, kind of like a beige ceramic tile. So the first thing that we did when we closed was we redid the floors and then we changed all of the knobs and faucets ourselves. So I did get footage of us changing those items. So I am gonna play that for you guys so you can see what it looked like before. So here's what the kitchen looked like before. And one of the first things we did was rip up the tile and the carpet and added this warm gray tone wood look tile. And then we started to change the knobs. We bought a template off of Amazon and it was kind of off. So my dad suggested that we just use a piece of cardboard and that ended up working out just fine. And to be honest with you guys, this was my dream kitchen before we made any changes. It's my dream kitchen now, and we still wanna do a couple more things to it, and it will be our dream kitchen then. So I'm very, very thankful for this home. So you guys, I am gonna talk about these bar stools, but I am not going to recommend these only because I made a really bad decision. I'm gonna let you guys know so you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. I bought these bar stools, I think like four months before we moved in this place. And when we moved in here, I didn't like how everything looked and matched up. And not only that, we completely changed our minds on how we wanted everything to look. These bars still started off as a gold color, which I thought would be more brass. And then the seat was a white leather. Now, once we got everything in and we were gonna do brass hardware on the cabinets, we changed our mind last minute. I feel like this is more us. And I feel like if we would have done brass poles, it would have felt too like glammy. So, once everything got in here, these bar stools just did not look good at all. So I did spray paint it and I did change the fabric on here to this black leather. And it's an okay job, it's just something temporary. So I did want something that was a low back so I can scoop these in because this is a walkway to the backyard. But when you sit in these for hours when you're entertaining, it's not the most comfortable. So I eventually want to get something with a higher back, something more comfortable, and maybe something with wood in it. I don't know, but for now, these will do. For our countertop, we chose this quartz countertop. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called white. With new builds, they usually give you options for your countertop. Some builders give you more than others and better ones than others. We looked at a few different builders um, here in Southern California, but this builder gave us two different options and they were both a granite. One was more like a brown granite. The other one was more like a grayish smoky color, but it was just too busy for us. So luckily they had one that 
wasn't gonna break the bank. For our fixtures, we did change it to this matte black faucet. I got the faucet and the soap pump from Wayfair. Recently, we got a hard water softener system put in and it did come with a, what's like an alkaline water dispenser. So it came with this, so they just recently put that in. This space I actually got from Home Goods. I really want the vase from Pottery Barn. It's the Joshua vase. It's the black one that kind of looks like this and it has the handles all around it. It's so beautiful, but it's sold out. And honestly, I just haven't purchased it yet. I'm kind of waiting to see what kind of deals they're gonna have for the holidays because it's sold out anyway. But I like what I did with this one. I thought I did a really good job. So I added these Magnolia stems from Michaels. I really love these. I got the inspiration from Desi Perkins. She actually had these in her kitchen. I really love how branchy and organic and just feels like fall to me. Not only that, I feel like this space kind of craved some warmth. So I feel like these went perfectly. And then I added some stems from our front yard and just picked the leaves off. Actually, I think this one came with some dry floral that I bought, but this one came from my front yard and all of these. But I feel like adding some real um, mixed in with the fake makes it look more interesting and kind of makes it look more real as well. Okay, over here, you guys already know, you guys showed me so much love on this painting. I was really not expecting that. I just really wanted that Sarah Brooke painting. I could not find it like a bunch of you guys. You, guys, you just can't find it. It is popping back up at Home Goods. So maybe if you guys are still looking for it, if not, it is something that you can create. I will leave a link to the video where I recreated this. I even have a reel. If you guys don't have time to watch that, I have a reel I posted on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram. My name on there is my Jessica J but I have a real of me creating this in 30 seconds. And then this vase down here, my mother-in-law actually gave it to me. It was like a copper color when she gave it to me. I DIY this and I have a whole video of me doing that. So I will leave that one link down below if you guys are interested. Okay, for the sink, we upgraded to a deeper sink and I love this thing. A lot of people ask how I feel about it not being divided. I absolutely love it because you can put those big pots in here with no problem and clean them. I don't normally soak dishes. I kind of just clean them as I go and put them in the dishwasher and start the dishwasher up at night. And also, it does a good job of hiding your dirty dishes if we don't get our dishes right away. So over here, I have this, and I actually just put this here the other day. I usually have a candle sitting on top of here and I have that over there, which we'll look over there in just a second. But yeah, I got this petrified wood at, ooh, at Home Goods for like 14 bucks. And I know they had some bigger ones. I haven't seen any lately, but if you guys see those at Home Goods, pick them up. They're so beautiful. They're hard like a stone, but yeah, it's, it's actually wood. So this is where I keep my soap. And this one I just got from Home Goods. And then I got this little scrubber brush from Marshalls and then this little tray from Target. So here on the island, we have our dishwasher, cabinets, and then here is our trash and it's kind of full and nasty but um there's two trash cans in there and then this is where i keep like our mittens and our dish towels okay so over here i have my athena calderon cookbook you guys i got this cookbook from home goods i got this cookbook because I just loved how it looked. And then not only that, we don't eat meat. We just eat a little bit of fish here and there. And a lot of these recipes are vegetarian, pescatarian, and some of the stuff you can easily swap out for some fish. The pictures are so nice. And then the stand, I randomly picked up at Tuesday mornings. And then over here, I have this space that I got from Home Goods. I just added some bunny tails to it that I got from Amazon. And I just have a few in there like that drooped over. <laughs> Don't touch these things though. They do fall out if you touch them. So I just kind of stick them in there and leave them alone. And then I have some cutting boards up here and I really started putting cutting boards up here to hide the outlets. There's so many outlets and they're so high up. So that's where like the inspiration really came from. But then I just kind of got into it. So now I really love cutting boards. This one right here is from West Elm. I did paint it black. And then this one I got from Home Goods. This is a really good size one too. And then over here I have this spoon rest that I just got from Ross for $4.99 yesterday. 
we're 99. So over here we have our microwave, our um, stove. We actually want to take the microwave out and then take these cabinets out maybe and add a hood range. So that's kind of like on my wish list. Let me show you guys. I, I plan on showing you guys what's in these cabinets. I know some people like seeing like organization organization type stuff. We don't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, we've only been here for a year and you know, Rona hit. So we don't really have guests over anything like that. But this is kind of where I keep our plates and stuff. A lot of stuff is in the dishwasher. And then here, this is where I have our, I guess our baking pantry. Um, all of our baked goods are in here. I do have a whole video on that and I will have that one linked down below as well. And then on this side, I have our utensil holder. I got this from Target. This is a threshold brand, I believe. All of the wooden ones with the silicone tips are from World Market. And then this one I picked up from Home Goods randomly. So this one I actually just got. This one is from a company called Modern Market. I'll have their information linked down below if you guys are interested. But I really love this. It's called a wood firewood tray, I believe. Firewood tray. So me, I love black if you guys can't tell already. <laughs> and then this cutting board is from Target. This is the Threshold brand. And then this bowl right here, one of my favorite home goods finds. This is for our fruit. This is our fruit bowl. We eat a lot of fruit here. And normally when we pick up fruit like avocados or pears, they're normally not already ripe. So we stick them in here to ripen up, get soft and juicy and sweet. And then we throw them in the fridge. But yeah, this is our fruit bowl. We actually put fruit here all the time. A lot of the stuff is in the dishwasher. Not only that, these right here and these, they're the same type of glass. I got these from Home Goods, and I really love them. But these broke. Well, most of them broke already. These, I think, are still going strong. So Crate and Barrel actually sells these two. I'm sure it's a different brand, and I was going to order more from Crate and Barrel. And a lot of people were saying the same thing about the taller ones that they break easily, but not the shorter ones. So oh, it kind of sucks because I do actually really like those. And I have these. My husband bought these for me from CB2. I shared them on my stories, and he ordered a couple. And then these, I love these glasses so much. They're from Amazon. They keep your coffee hot for a long time. So I will have these linked down below. And also guys, I do have a Amazon storefront now and I have those linked in my Amazon storefront. I love those glasses. And then clearly I thought I was about to just be partying it up every weekend. <laughs> Honestly, I just got lucky at Home Goods and I found the Shot Zwiesel brand, which Macy's Carries, William Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, and I found it at Home Goods. So I picked up the white wine glasses, champagne glasses. I mean, you know, when things get better, we can have a get together. We have a lot of friends and family, so that's why I have so many. This is like our baking accessory cabinet. Kind of messy. That could be organized way better. But yeah, just like measuring cups, spoons, like little, what do you call these things? And these fun little dessert bowls, cocktail glasses. I don't know, I bought these for dips when um, we had our house warming. We did like a charcuterie board and I used those for dips. Here we have our pantry. We're losing light, so it's kind of getting weird. But this is our pantry. I have a, two pantry videos, so I'll, I'll leave both of those linked down below if you guys are interested in how I organize my pantry. Yeah, so we're not gonna go in there right now because actually I went grocery shopping not too long ago and it's a little, it's a little messy in there, so we're not gonna go in there right now. So this is normally where I have my petrified wood, but I actually like it over there better. But over here, I just have a candle. Sometimes I'll leave it here burning or I'll move it over towards the front. We do have kids. I forgot to mention in the beginning, we have little ones. So everything that we do in this house, we have to be mindful because we have little ones. We don't want things to get ruined. We want to make sure everything's safe for them. So yeah, I forgot to mention that. We do have kids if you guys already know that. So yeah, I have my cake stand from Target. I really wanted a cake stand here. I like making cookies and we like eating desserts. I don't know, it just gives me like a homey feeling. So, and I did get donuts for you guys. I got you guys crumb and some glazed donuts. <laughs> they smell good too. So yeah, super affordable. Two things was like 20 bucks. I think it's the Threshold brand. Let's get into this cabinet right here. Okay, so this is our, I guess our bar in a way. We're using this as a bar. We're not huge drinkers, 
a lot of this stuff literally is from our housewarming that we had in February of this year. <laughs> so we have a lot, like we don't drink beer at all and we have all this beer left over. But yeah, this is just where we keep our alcoholic beverages, our adult beverages. We do like whiskey. We're kind of like tiptoeing that direction. So we just really have like Jack Daniels or this one right here. But I would love to go whiskey tasting and kind of broaden my palate. We have our shot glasses, woo! So yeah, we just have some mixers and coasters. Corks and bottle openers, Ooh, some straws. Just want to make it look neat. We really have nowhere else to put this, so I just kind of just started shoving it here. We have our ice buckets up there. Um, those are from Target. I believe those are the Project 62 brand. I'll leave those linked down below if they still carry those. And then over here, you guys already seen this area. This is my coffee station. Um, this is gonna get switched out, and it's gonna be a hot cocoa bar for the holidays. So I think the kids will really like that. But I have my canisters from Crate and Barrel. I have my vanilla syrups here. They're really just oil vinegar dispensers, but I got these from World Market. Amazon also carries these as well. They're just a little pricier. I got my gold spoons from Amazon, and these are also on my storefront. The Irish mugs are from Home Goods. And then everyone who told me to get an espresso machine. I was saying that our Keurig was really old, outdated. They don't make the pods anymore. And I wanted a new coffee machine. Everyone said an espresso and I'm so glad I did get it. This was an early Christmas gift from my husband. It is actually pretty amazing. So you guys got me to buy one of those and it comes with the milk frother which is really an experience right there. Really an experience. And the last thing that I actually should have talked about first are our light pendants. So these light pendants are from Pottery Barn. They had an amazing sale at the time. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I believe they do still carry these and they also carry these in black. I did get them in antique brass and I absolutely love these. They're just so perfect. I looked high and low. I wanted something different, but not too, too different, but something that was gonna make a statement. So. I love these so much. So that is our kitchen tour, you guys. I hope I touched everything. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.